everyone. Welcome to Book Chat. Uh, my name is Leslie and I lead the Reading Safari and Stream programs for Monterey County Free Libraries. Uh, today I am going to review a book of poetry. Um, it is called The Tradition. It's by Jericho Brown. Uh, this book was published uh, last year and it actually won the Pulitzer Prize for Poetry this year. And I had never read um, Jericho Brown before reading this book of poetry, so it was nice to familiarize myself with the Pulitzer Prize winner for the year. Um, a little bit about Jericho Brown. Um, he is a gay black male um, writing poetry in this specific time period. And so he has a lot to say about current events and a lot of his um, poems are about current events and kind of how they fit into the overall history of Western civilization. Um, so because a book of poetry is it's kind of hard to review, I would like to read a couple of my favorite poems from the collection. And so that maybe you can get an idea of um, what what this these this book of poetry is is about. It's hard to say if any book of poetry what it's about because they're you know made up of different poems that maybe don't necessarily have a theme. But this one definitely does. Um, I'm going to read one poem called Riddle, and then I'll read another one um, after that. So this is called Riddle. We do not recognize the body of Emmett Till. We do not know the boy's name nor the sound of his mother wailing. We have never heard a mother wailing. We do not know the history of this nation in ourselves. We do not know the history of ourselves on this planet because we do not have to know what we believe we own. We believe we own your bodies but have no use for your tears. We destroy the body that refuses use. We use maps we did not draw. We see a sea, so cross it. We see a moon, so land there. We love land so long as we can take it. Shh, we can't take that sound. What is a mother wailing? We do not recognize music until we can sell it. We sell what cannot be bought. We buy silence. Let us help you. How much does it cost to hold your breath underwater? Wait. Wait. What are we? What? What on earth are we? What? And that is Riddle by Jericho Brown. Uh, very powerful, if you ask me. Um, I love that poem. It's my favorite in the whole collection. So it's a pretty a pretty damning look at our at our culture um pretty critical and um i think it's important to read to read poetry like that to kind of broaden our thinking about uh, the culture that we live in so here's another one this is called duplex now there are several poems called duplex in this collection and on the back it says um his invention of the duplex, a combination of the sonnet, the gazal, and the blues, is an all-out exhibition of formal skill, and his lyrics move through elegy and memory with a breathless cadence. So I like that. He's essentially got his own kind of form, the duplex, that he um, created himself. And this is one of my, another one of my favorite poems from this collection. So this is Duplex. A poem is a gesture toward home. It makes dark demands I call my own. Memory makes demands darker than my own. My last love drove a burgundy car. My first love drove a burgundy car. He was fast and awful, tall as my father. Steadfast and awful, my tall father hit hard as a hailstorm. He'd leave marks. Light rain hits easy but leaves its own mark, like the sound of a mother weeping again. Like the sound of my mother weeping again, no sound beating ends where it began. None of the beaten end up how we began. A poem is a gesture toward home. 
So what I like so much about the duplex poems is that you end up uh, at the, the end is the same place where you started. So it's kind of this circular type, you're, le you're leading back to the beginning of the poem, which I find, you know, ingenious. And as a writer myself, I would like to try that. Um, so anyway, this is Jericho Brown's The Tradition. We do have this book on Overdrive if you would like to check out an um, electronic copy of it. I do recommend it. Um, you know, it's it's good to read from other perspectives. And this is definitely a perspective that I haven't read enough from. So hopefully you will do the same. Thank you so much for tuning in to this, uh, this week's book chat. And I will see you next time. Okay, bye.